Hey guys, here's some just extra practice for you, so if you want, copy it down or follow. Alright, we gotta get x alone. To do this, we wanna go ahead and isolate the variable, but when I do this, I have to add or subtract or multiply or divide everything to both sides. So we're first gonna start by getting rid of anything adding or subtracting, so we're gonna add four to both sides. If you really want the most out of this video, I would try the problem first and then see if you can get the right answer, and then watch what I do. So go ahead and pause the video before I get too far. Um, so 2 plus 4 is 6 and 8 plus 4 is 12 and last step to get x alone we divide by 2 to every side. So this is a compound inequality. We get 3 less than x which is less than or equal to 6. Compound inequalities, this is an and problem so we just get 3 and 6. This is going to be a closed circle, open circle and we know that and problems go in towards each other. And there's our answer. Absolute value equations. We practice a lot of these in class here. To get this, we want to first get the absolute value part isolated. There's a 4 out here. He's not multiplying because there's an addition sign here. So to get rid of him, I have to use the opposite of what he is. Because 4 minus 4, that would go to 0. And 8 minus 4 is 4. So this is what we end up with. x minus 2. Then we can go case 1 and case 2 with this. So we get uh, x minus 2 equals 4. And then case 2, we write the same thing except for the 4 is now negative. Add 2 to both sides. And 2 plus 4 is going to be x equals 6. And over here, we're going to get x equals negative 2. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> These are two answers. We can write and or or for that matter on them. Okay, here's our next one. Again, this one we got to get the absolute value part by itself. To do that, we need to add the 4 over. Again, trying the problem first and then doing watching the video is going to be a much better way to study this. Okay? Now that we get to this point, it's a greater than sign, so I should say great or. Okay, so I want an or problem. So we're going to do case 1 and case 2 like normal, we're going to write or in between. Okay, So we get 2x minus 8 is greater than 4, or we get 2x minus 8 is less than 4. So we have to do the sign switch of the inequality, and it becomes a negative. From here, we're going to add 8 by using inverse operations. Got to get rid of thing adding or subtracting first. So this ends up with 2x is less than 4. Then we get over here 2x is greater than 12. Okay. So let's give ourselves some more space here real quick. Okay, then we just got to divide both by 2. And we would get x is greater than 6 or x is less than 4. And there's our answer. And we won't grab that one. Okay? So, had to check that it was a less than or greater than sign. It was a greater than sign. I know it's an or problem. Another absolute value, but this time it's a equals, an equation. Okay? But we know something different. There's no x in here, so I can actually evaluate this. 2 squared is going to be 4 minus 10. 4 minus 10 is going to be a negative 6 plus 6x equals 16. From here, the absolute value of 6, well, what's the distance? How far is negative 6 from 0? It is 6 units. Okay. Then we go ahead and subtract 6 from both sides. And we get 2x equals 10. So x divide 2 on both sides is going to equal 5. So we don't always have to do case 1 and case 2 if I don't have a variable inside the absolute value. Okay, So that's just kind of a fun one to try real quick. But uh, we don't have to always have to do case 1 and case 2. It's only when there's a variable inside. And most likely we're going to have variables inside almost every single time. Um, but you might see one like this, so that's kind of fun. Alright, 
We have equations, we've got stuff going on both sides, so let's break it down the middle and isolate stuff. So this is going to be 3 times this. We get 3x minus 6 minus x plus 4. That all equals 2x plus 5. Now the left-hand side is already simplified, but the right-hand side we can combine 3x and negative x, and that would end up with 2x. And then we can combine negative 6 with positive 4, which would give me a negative 2. And that's all going to be set equal to 2x plus 5. We have 2x and 2x. We've got to get them on the same side of the equation. So to do that, we just subtract 2x from both sides. That goes away. That also goes away. I get 5 equals negative 2. Is that possible? No, it's not a true statement. So if it's not true, then we know there is no solution. There's no way to solve this problem. Meaning there's nothing I can put in for x that would make this equation true. I can't keep it balanced. Remember, math is a lot about just trying to keep things balanced. All right, here's another absolute value one. Here, the x is in the absolute value, so we got to get everything outside of it, away from it first. So we add 8 before we do anything, get rid of the thing, adding or subtracting first. Then we divide by 2, and we get the absolute value of x equals 9. Now, the absolute value of x equals 9, that means that we need to do case 1 and case 2 still, where x equals 9 or x equals a negative 9. So we end up with both. I don't have to do any solving because the only thing on the inside of the absolute value was x. So it makes it kind of easy. All right, this problem wants us to solve for x. So we're going to try and solve for x. To do this, we got to get x alone. Well, I can't get rid of the 8 yet because it's getting divided by t. So to get rid of the t, I need to multiply by t on both sides. And this gives me x plus 8 equals dt. Now we got to get rid of the 8 so I can subtract it from both sides. That goes away, so I get x equals dt minus 8. That's a literal equation, meaning it has multiple variables. So we actually have multiple variables left in our answer. There's no actual numerical value for x here because we don't know what d or t stands for. And this is our last one. So we've done a lot of practice ones, gone kind of quick. So hopefully you pause it, try them yourself. First step here, we got to distribute in. We get 4 plus 4. Whoops, I think I messed up something here. There we go. Uh, 4m plus 3m equals 18. Okay, from here we can combine like terms, 4m and 3m. So we get 4 plus 7m equals 18. Subtract 4 from both sides. And I get 7m equals 14. Divide by 7. 7 goes into that twice. So we get our answer of m equals 2. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care.